So, I thought I'd do a video about whether I thought the moon landing, particularly the first moon landing, was real or not. And I did it again after watching a film called Capricorn One, where they're going to go a mission to the Mars after all these moon landings. And then because something about the equipment wasn't safe, they dragged out the astronauts at the last moment, but went ahead with the mission as if the astronauts were there. So basically got them to fake it. And it was just so, <clears throat> you know, similar to the supposed moon landing fake <clears throat> that it was just interesting to watch. And in the film, one of the guys gets back because um, they tried to kill them off, gets back and spoils it all. But <clears throat> in this reality we live in, it's not always like that. So we're gonna gonna look at a couple of um, some footage from the moon landing and just talk about that. So if we start with just. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain when I bring it up. So if I just turn that off and play this, you should be able to see. So this is when the lander. Okay, I killed my rate, Mike. So you drift out to the distance you like and uh, then stop your race. The, the lander is separating from the orbiter and that's the lander we can see there going away from us. That's about 70 or 80 hours of footage for this entire mission. This is Apollo Control at 100 hours, 14 minutes. We're now less than two minutes from reacquiring the spacecraft. So there's a lot of footage. Roger. Now, you'll see my mouse pointer highlight a couple of things. There seems to be points of light below the moon lander's feet sticking out. Now, why would that be there? Wouldn't that get in the way? Good. I don't think we will. We'll see some more in a minute. Well, apart from that, it looks great, doesn't it? Doesn't that look fantastic? It does do a little bit of wobbling. I mean, that could be in a studio. They can do Star Wars, they can do this. There you go. What's that? 86107. Odd. Minus zero zero seven five eight. But when you look at all this footage, 70, 80 hours, and most of it's with audio in the right time, you'd just think, no way could they make this up. But they could. Because a lot of the critical points that would be really hard to fake are, are missing so suddenly you know then you know they don't film that bit and you think well they're probably busy with other things but you know they've got other cameras haven't they could they not have filmed those critical bits and they're the, they are the bits that are the missing the bits that no, you no, just no would find zero. so hard to fake like zero one, we're going to see one, in a minute now this one is just one, really zero, three, so that's the orbiter three, there one, and the moon lander has gone zero, above seven, the orbiter before zero, it lands zero. on the moon one, um, but it's the ref zero, just zero, I just zero, wonder zero, about five. the reflections right, in that thing but above, yeah they're probably they're probably correct but again it, it could minute, be so, fake that could be fake. It wouldn't be that hard to fake that image there. It's not doing an awful lot. And we get no footage from the 
after the land is separated that we just saw, there's no more footage of the land from the orbiter. Um, yeah, it's just. These rolled off. There's a road there at the bottom. That's what it is. That's a road at the bottom. That's odd, isn't it? Why is there a road? There must be a road. Right, well, 5018 will not reflect the so right number. Again, I kept, as I was watching the footage, I kept thinking, ah, it's not fake, they could have done all this. But, yeah, if they went to the great efforts to get it all sorted, they could have faked it. Right. <clears throat> Last clip. Longest one as well. Oh, no, not that one. So this is from as we're now coming they're coming home. And this is moments before they land in the sea. So in the big picture there you've got the camera on the thing showing fire from the heat shield. Now a few minutes ago it was actually brighter. And you say well, you can fake retro. this, but how would anyone know you'd you know, fake that bit? You know, right. how would anyone know what a heat shield look would look oh, like behind from some crappy camera? So, anyway, we'll keep watching. Flight network, go. Yeah, ride three reported a visual contact. Okay. So got visual contact. Araya 3 reported a visual contact. There you go, visual contact. But they they won't stay on that. So they, if you've got visual contact with something, keep visual contact with it. But they don't. We just see this three glowing orb. Since entry. Uh, blackout should end about three Moving minutes fifty-three in the sky. seconds uh, after entry, and and then it's and then we'll cut away and we won't see it land in the water. And that's what I'm saying. That would be the the difficult bit to fake. So it just fades out, and then we've got Nixon here looking in the thing. So it's smoke and mirrors. They're saying, "Look here." Flight recovered. Go. Arrive three reported a visual. Okay. We're about 11 minutes away from landing. And he's the up rank. That was, uh, that was, uh, now we're on ship. Oh, okay. Flight arrived, just reported AOS. Oh, okay, Tom again, Capcom. Apollo 11, Houston, uh, standing by for your disc, you're reading over. Flight return. Apollo your rescue 2 reports an S band contact okay. with the spacecraft. S band at radio. Apollo 11, Houston, uh, stand by for your missed distance. Over. You recovery that uh, morning radar was in the range of 120 miles, and that was uh, about a minute ago. 120, yeah, let's okay, right. Apollo 11, Houston, standing by for your disc reading, over. Okay, Capcom, one last thing, we're going to have to give up. And let the uh, recovery people have it for the DS. Roger that, Blaine. Houston, DAO, Hornet, DAO, a sonic boom was reported to have been heard on board the Hornet. Do you hear that? We didn't hear any sonic boom, we've just been watching it. Nobody reacted as if they'd sit, heard a sonic boom. So it's, so it's bullshit put over the radio. Oh, we heard a sonic boom! Right now, we got sonic, yeah, they got light. They have light. You got a live picture on TV. You got a live picture on TV. Oh, okay. It's supposed to be 10 minutes before sunrise, though. Flight is Capcom. We're just under. So you don't uh, see anything with parachutes landing. landing in the water. No, no, nada.
That's a primitive flight, and he had 1330. I copied 1330. Just double no. check in. Didn't miss anything. Okay, Barrett. Houston, uh, your disc you're reading, please. Over. You ought to be on the drugs now, buddy. And the helo is lowering the astronauts' bigs or biological isolation garments to uh, Lieutenant Adelberg. Flight, that'll be two. So the one in the top corner is from their training. And they did this beforehand. They did it training. And then it's the real... The real deal, as they'd say. So... I was quite interested to see the reaction of the astronauts when they were in that little quarantine thing and the President Nixon was talking to them. So at the beginning, Neil Armstrong did not look happy. And if you'd watched the Capricorn 1 movie, you, you know, you, you figure, you know, they're not happy when they're oh, told they're going to fake Beach. stuff. And, you know, it's just sort of... All this rumours, all this talk, Neil Armstrong's not exactly been out there in the media, nor the other guy Collins. So, my conclusion is... <laughs> I think they beat it. Because to beat the Russians but there we go who knows ciao